G'day guys, Billy here. Well, I've just left Dumbyung guys. I'm on top of a hill called Nippering Hill. So it's just gone about nine o'clock guys. Bloody slept in. I was supposed to get up at four o'clock and I didn't wake up till bloody eight o'clock. But anyway, I'll be right. So I should be in Perth by about one o'clock, I reckon. So the truck's fully loaded guys. I've got all of the dogs. Um, Sophie's chained up in the back and the two dogs are in the front with me. Banjo's asleep in my lap. So anyway guys, hopefully we're gonna make some good money today. My mortgage repayment is due today guys, so that's the most urgent thing I need to do today. As soon as I get the money, I've gotta to go to the bank, pay my mortgage repayment, and then I can kind of relax for another few weeks, not stress about trying to come up with money to pay my mortgage repayment. But anyway, I'll hopefully be heading back up to Perth next week with another big scrap run. And yeah, so anyway guys, we'll see ya up in the city. We'll get some footage of the forklifts and everything else, scales, and also them ha handing over the money to me. So that's gonna be good. And also I'm gonna go and do some other stuff, but we'll film that later, guys. Okay, see you guys. G'day guys, well I'm just in waging guys, so I've got to pay got one a, uh, bill. bill here, my driver's license, bloody rip off, $132, it's well overdue, 3rd of September, it's about the 16th or 17th of September today, so we'll go and pay this one guys, and we've got to stack more there I need to pay, and more at home. Well guys, we're about halfway to Perth, so... It's just gone about quarter past 11, so we'll probably be there by about 12.30, 1 o'clock hopefully. We've got about 20 more kilometres till we get to the outskirts of Perth. So where we're going through right now, this is called the Darling Ranges. Heaps of hills, guys. So basically we're going uphill. Then once we get to the outskirts of Perth, we go down, we go down this massive hill and the city of Perth and the surrounding suburbs are basically in a big... Um, a big uh, pan. Uh, basically, you know, 200 years ago, Perth used to be, Perth and the surrounding areas used to be one huge massive swamp land full of marshes or freshwater marshes and so forth. Anyway guys, we've got one more hill to go to and this is the worst hill. And also guys, just around this area is where the famous West Australian slash Perth Serial killers buried um, about five girls. Um, their names were Catherine and David Burney. Uh, Catherine is in jail still, and David committed suicide probably about three or four years ago. This happened well over 20 years ago, guys. So I'll put a link below um, to the documentary. It's really, really interesting, guys. And yeah, it was amazing when it all right, happened. Guys, we're on the outskirts of Perth, so I'm just going to pull in up here get some fuel so this roadhouse here is called you'll do roadhouse y-u-l-e space d-o this is one of the cheapest or probably definitely the cheapest roadhouse in perth guys right on the outskirts of perth so we'll just get some diesel It's a dollar twenty-four point nine per litre, whereas in Dumbyong it's a dollar thirty-nine point nine. So, all right, guys, we'll fill up and get going.
density on there guys, can you see it? Shall I get it? Wouldn't do that, it's too embarrassing. See that yellow ute there guys? That is a classic one tonner HQ holding ute. Beautiful. Put up to Allied. Here comes Paul. This is Paul, guys. Good oh, yeah. mate, you know, I just got taught um, they don't really want people filming, so we'll just, when I get the money and that, we'll do a video later. And once we get organised, we're going to give the dogs a good drink, as you can see. It's bloody hot today and the dogs are exhausted. Hey guys, I've been stressing out all day, guys. I just see the Bank West sign. I just did, um, paid so my mortgage. It's absolutely awesome, guys. So now I can relax for, for another month and keep scrapping guys to come up with this mortgage money. I've got to pay it until about April and then it's all finished guys, then I can relax. So anyway guys, I'm in Armadale, so I've been looking for this bank for the last hour and now I'm heading back home. So thank God for that guys. I was going to start my mate's place tonight drop that boat off but now I'm just gonna bloody take it uh, drop it off next week for him because I just want to get back home see you guys well guys I've just illegally parked on the footpath and time to spoil myself guys I'm gonna go and get a nice Muzz Buzz coffee Muzz Buzz is really famous in uh, West Australia so I could drive through coffee so I'll grab a coffee and some donuts downhill now all downhill guys there's a few hills but the trucks as light as a feather completely empty well guys I didn't do as well as I expected I was rather disappointed so you'll have to wait until the end of the video guys and I'll show you exactly how much I made but yeah well below my expectations but anyway the main thing is guys I paid my mortgage so that's absolutely awesome um, and I've still got some not too bad money left over to pay some other so bills. we'll stop here guys beautiful shady spot let the dogs have a bit of a run go to the toilet have a way drive up as far as I can because I've got um, Sophie and the last thing I want is for her to run up. We'll run off, get hit by a car, so we'll go up here a bit. Beautiful picnic area this one is guys, nice and shady. I'll tell you a story about this one guys in regards to the clam what I mean the um those Bernie serial killers in a minute. Alright, here you are Sophie, here Banjo. Cindy, you're here. Here. Alright, we'll unchain Sophie. You don't run off, Sophie. Come on. Good girl. Beautiful old uh, 
rainwater tanks, guys. Probably they would have been used back in the old days. Come here. Sophie, come on. Just got to be very careful, guys, because this area here, there's a lot of um, dog baits possibly around. So the last thing I want is for the dogs to have or eat um, strict 9 or 1080 bait, it's called. But anyway, guys, just in regards to the Claremont, I oh, say Claremont, about the um, Bernie serial killers, this is the actual area where they killed the women and it was pretty gruesome guys what they did was they actually um, made some other girls dig their own graves and when the graves were you know um, dug they hit them over the head with a shovel and killed them and some were actually buried alive still alive they were a very sadistic couple guys involved sex that kind of stuff so yeah well, like I say guys feel free to check out the link what I mentioned before and watch the documentary, it's really, really interesting. And how I just mentioned Claremont, guys, there's an unsolved serial killing called the Claremont Serial Killers. Dates back to the early 1990s. Well, um, it's been unsolved, one of West Australia's biggest unsolved murder cases. And about four or five girls got killed. And they haven't, they found, I think, three bodies and they're still looking for another body. Or well, they found maybe three or four bodies and um, they're still um, looking for one more girl but it's been a long time unsolved it's called the Claremont serial killings guys because all of the girls were taking, taken over a period of a year or so from the Claremont area of Western Australia a really rich suburb in Perth in West Australia and yeah they were last seen or last went to um, certain nightclubs so I'll put a link to that one too but anyway guys the dogs are happy now, they've had a bit of a, <laughs> a run. Don't know what Banjo's doing over there, he's probably having a poo. But anyway, that's good. So we'll just let the dogs have a bit of a wander and then we'll take off and I'll stop off at probably another destination, maybe another couple or three. Okay guys, make sure you check out those documentaries, they're really, really interesting.